Okay, another op-amp application deals with transducer interface design. Now transducers are key elements of instrumentation systems that monitor, measure, and control physical processes. A transducer is a key device that converts a process variable, let's say temperature, pressure, motion, or light, into an electrical signal. So coming out of this transducer is an electrical signal. Now electrical signal processing then converts the transducer output, let's say we'll call this plus and minus and VTR, which is the voltage of the output of the transducer, which serves as the input to this interface circuit, which I'll discuss later. Now this electrical signal processing then converts this transducer output into a form required by the rest of the system, the instrumentation system in this case. Now the first key step is the interface circuit shown in this figure. Now this circuit translates the transducer output signal range into a range suitable for further signal processing. As I said before, the input to this interface circuit, the transducer voltage VTR, serves as an input to this interface circuit and that the output we'll call of the interface circuit plus minus VO must match the requirements of the rest of the system. Now to accomplish this, this interface circuit usually performs two functions. One is amplification and the other is level shifting. Now why amplification? Well the reason why amplification is needed is because the transducer signals are often in the millivolt range. Level shifting is required by the rest of the system because the amplified transducer signal must may not fall in the range required by the rest of the system. Thus, let's, let's express these two functions mathematically where we have the output voltage coming out of the interface circuit which serves as an input to the rest of the system is equal to K times VTR where K serves as the amplification plus some V bias which is our level shifting function. Now let us consider a specific example shown here of interfacing a transducer. Here in this figure we have the characteristics of a light transducer that converts the luminance of the range from 200 to 1000 lumens per meter squared into an electrical signal in the range of 4 to 20 millivolts. Now the output of this interface circuit is required to drive an analog to digital converter whose full scale input range of 0 to 5 volts. So once again we have at the output of the, the transducer 4 to 20 millivolts and it needs to feed an analog to digital converter having a range of 0 to 5 volts. So what we'll see here is that we, we require some uh, amplification as well as some level shifting. Now we're going to apply this equation to this example. So here at the lower range we have zero volts, our output voltage. We have K in our input voltage corresponding to zero volts is four millivolts. So this is times four times 10 to the minus 3 plus V bias and once again this corresponds to 200 lumens per meter squared. So corresponding to 200 lumens per meter squared is 4 millivolts. Now let's do the one for 1000 and you see it corresponds to 20 millivolts. So corresponding to 20 millivolts, that's the maximum range in this case, is a 5 volt 
as our output coming out of the interface circuit. So that's K times 20 times 10 to the minus 3 plus V bias. And this corresponds to 1,000 lumens per meter squared. Now we have two equations and two unknowns, one to calculate the amplification, K, and the other to calculate V bias or the level shifting value. When you do this, we can find that K is basically equal to 5 minus 0 divided by 0 0.02 millivolts minus 4 millivolts and we get an amplification of 312.5. Now taking this K and inserting it into the first equation and solving for the bias we have V bias is equal to negative 0 0.004 K, but K in this case is 312.5, which in this result would be negative 1.25 volts. So now we have VO right here is equal to 312 for our K, 0.5, multiplied by our transducer voltage minus our bias of 1.25. Now to design the interface circuit, we partition the required gain, K, as follows, where K is equal to negative 25 times negative 12.5 which is equal to 312.5. What this allows us to do is to get an overall gain of positive 312.5 using two inverting amplifier stage with gains of negative 25 and negative 12.5. Now we can also write our bias voltage V bias as a, uh, in terms of two factors, one of negative 0 0.25 and 5, which is negative 1.25 volts. Again, this allows us to get the required bias using an inverting gain of negative 0.25 and a standard voltage power supply of 5 volts used as a reference source. Now, inserting these values into our equation that we wrote here yields the following of VTR is equal to negative 25 times negative 12.5 VTR minus 0 0.25 times 5. So here, in the figure, we can draw a block diagram of this equation VTR and implement an op-amp circuit that performs this mathematical function.